and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a vlog because I've got a bit of a weird week this week in that this weekend it's a crazy exciting weekend full of plans really really excited I've got Molly's 22nd birthday Robin's 22nd birthday from Seville so Molly is in beauty spectrum and Robin is in Robin that I met in Seville so I'm in York tonight and I'm in Birmingham tomorrow night and it's gonna be a really really fun weekend of birthday celebrations but equally just because I say yes to plans um, doesn't mean my workload goes away and I have a ridiculous amount of work due over the next week between now and next Friday. So I feel like it's gonna be a fun vlog of fun, but also hard work, hopefully. Maybe a couple of tears, maybe a couple of laughs. Who knows what is gonna be in store for this vlog. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go now because I have a 9 a.m. this morning, but, but I have my suitcase packed and I'm very excited. The train to York is four hours, so hoping I can get a fair bit of work done on the train. But hands up if you're a uni student and you always say you're gonna get work done on the train and you never do because it's me, I'm, I'm said uni student. Hey everyone, so this is Future Eve popping in here to say that this video is very kindly sponsored by the wonderful people over at Wondrium. So you guys have heard me talk about the Great Courses Plus many a time on this channel, and the team over there have only gone and created something bigger, better, and just all around more amazing for people that love learning. Wondrium is for curious people and you'll find all of the answers to the questions you could ever possibly ask and then some, as well as all the great content that was already over on The Great Courses Plus. It's a carefully created selection of long and short form videos, tutorials, how-tos, documentaries, travel logs, you name it, and they're on all sorts of topics from history to sport to science to language. If there's something that you're curious about, you'll be able to find the answers on Wondrium of course they are all very well researched and presented by engaging experts in their fields. During the vacation when I had some downtime I was doing the Olympic Games course looking at the history of the ancient games and how that kind of led to the games that we have today and after watching the Olympics in the summer I was really really fascinated about it and Wondrium was the perfect place to go and learn a little bit more about that without the deadlines, without the stress, just learning for fun, which I think is so, so important if you do a university degree. It's really important to learn things outside of your academic framework and sort of stimulate your brain in other ways. I 100% guarantee there'll be something on Wondrium that you will enjoy because there is something for everyone and I really, really encourage you to think about the things that interest you, that you want to learn about in your own time. Be sure to click the link on the screen now to start your free trial with Wondrium and thank you so much to Wondrium for sponsoring this video. Now let's get on with the vlog. So I headed into town for my translation class, which was actually very productive. I do actually like getting up at nine some days because it does just like force you to get your day going. Anyway, and then I headed through the autumnal streets of Oxford to my favourite coffee shop, which you have probably guessed the name of by now. Yep, there it is. It's Common Ground. Had a cup of tea and I actually did a solid few hours of work. I'm not going to lie. I think it was the urgency of the situation, but I really did get quite a lot done. Um, and then I got on the train to Birmingham, which is about an hour and ten minutes, and I did some more work on that train. Then I got on the train to York, which is another two and a bit hours, and I did lots more work on that train. I was actually in a bit of a in a bit of a zone. Um, so I take back what I said earlier about um, about not working on trains because I actually did, and I also listened to some Taylor Swift to get in the mood. And then I arrived at beautiful York train station. York is just so nice. Like, it has no right being that nice. <laughs> it zoomed in so much. You're literally, hold on, hold on. We have made it to sunny York. Liv is here. The sun is setting, the birds are chirping. Do you want the snoggy? Oh my God, how many people have we seen in the last 10 minutes? Here's a birthday girl, and everybody else say hello to yet another vlog. Sorry. <laughs> How nice is this place, Liv? Literally, what the hell? And it's like made just for parties. It's giving me massive Love Island villa vibes. How many times have we been there at someone's birthday or something in a travel lodge and we get a complaint? Which is no complaints. So long, I'm doing my Googling. <laughs> Molly has gone to town, like all of the different oh Taylor God, Swift out, oh, but what is that? What is that? Oh no. This is so cute. Oh my God. I literally love this so much. Cocktails are raspberry vodka, lemonade, and then those little heart sweets, and also some pink sugar at the bottom. 
Then there's the Fearless slash Evermore, whatever you want to call those. They're Malibu Pineapple and Orange. Champagne problems, but with Prosecco because we're cheap. <laughs> Love that. And then the ones on the far right, the red one's there for Eve. Ooh. Sure um, and that is Malibu and... Forest fruits and lemonade. I love how you've done everyone these lovely cocktails and uh -huh. then you've literally just gone shots. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden. I follow the golden. This is Eve's camera. Why does this person do? This light ain't fluttering at all. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Do you want to say hi to Eve's vlog? Hi, Eve's vlog. Did you move? Well, oh, <laughs> we are pretty much ready. I'm gonna open gifts. Um, I actually thought this was my camera, but it's not. It's Eve. So hello, goodbye. And, uh, Might be a bad one. We so love you, Eve. Outfit pack. Oh, should we do an outfit of the day for Eve's channel? This is my Taylor Swift reputation. Very short play suit and boots. I feel like I just need the microphone now, and then I look like I'm ready to go on, on tour. When you do it, that is it, Sharon. But close enough. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's now at two in the morning and the girls, um, it's half of us, half of them have gone to the club. Half of us are here. I, unfortunately, I'm just so shattered from this week that I was like, the club is not for me. You know when you hit a point where you have to decide, am I going to carry on drinking or am I going to stop now? After last week's events, which you would have seen in last week's vlog, I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet, so I'm going to bed. Um, this is the exciting life that I live. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are the same, but I sometimes feel like really guilty for like not wanting to go out all the time, not wanting to get really drunk, like not wanting to go clubbing. But sometimes you can just have a nice night without that, you know? Um, and I feel like the peer pressure's real, but yeah, I honestly want my bed, so to the bed I go but we've had a really nice night like we just played some drinking games and like danced to some music um lots of Taylor Swift obviously um and it's just been super lovely like super nice to see everybody and yeah so it has been nice but I'm ready for my bed now <laughs> balloon massacre is about to occur now the next day and we are leaving now and it looks so sad and bare um, my hair is incredibly frizzy I know but we're going for brunch I think I'm not sure what the brunch situation is but where there's food I will follow um, and then I've got to get the train back to Birmingham so yeah it's all good today <laughs> so we headed through York which as I said earlier absolutely stunning we'll be returning especially at Christmas I want to come on a Christmas break here um, and then we headed to brunch. We wanted to go to the cosy club, but unfortunately it was fully booked. Shocker, it was a Saturday morning. I don't know what we were expecting. But we ended up going to Bill's and I had the vegan breakfast, but with poached egg, <laughs> so it wasn't vegan. Um, I must admit, guys, I was not a fan of poached eggs. I think it's the texture. It's just not for me. Anyway, then I admired the beautiful scenes of York once more before heading back to the train station onto another train back down to Birmingham. Do you know what? On the bright side, I only had to buy one return ticket. Oh, and a ticket to Selly Oak. The height of culture. 
Hello everyone, I've made it to Sally Oak. Lovely, lovely passages green. And with Katie and Eve, the rest of the crew, oh my God, I can't believe we just caught, no, the rest of the, everyone, I'm not, just pretending to didn't say that, are on the way. Um, I'm very excited. I really vlogged like a grand total of zero contextual clips. Anyway, we went back to Robin's house, we got ready, and then we headed out to the mailbox for tapas at Bar Estilo. That was the most British pronunciation of that, but we've had this debate before on this channel. It was actually so good. I had the pulpo, the octopus, um, which was literally almost as good as it was in Seville. Obviously, it's very like commercialized tapas, but I honestly loved it. Um, and we also had some desserts, it was super lovely. And then we went to a bar in Selly Oak called Serco. Um, and yeah, it was really cool, but I don't know why I've lost all the clips of that. And then went to bed um, and I had to get up early due to reasons which I will explain in a minute, but I got up at sunrise and got the first train back from Birmingham New Street. And one moment here, I am just going to pause this vlog in appreciation of the almond, no, not the almond bowl, the mango sunshine bowl, which they don't do in Oxford. But if you're ever in prep and you see this yellow bowl of goodness, oh my God, it's literally my favourite thing ever. I could eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Anyway, vlog continuing. Hey yo, it's just gone 11 o'clock. I have been back for like half an hour. Um, I slept on the train, I'm not going to lie, like, it's just been a bit of a week. <laughs> Um, I really enjoyed seeing everybody, um, but loads of other stuff has been going on with people in my life, like, it's just not been a good week for anyone, um, and so, I obviously, it's not my place to, like, say, like, what's going on in other people's lives, but I kind of just want to be there for them and everything, which is why I came back so early, because something happened to one of my friends, um, last night, so, so I'm going to sit here on my bed, I know, I always say that you shouldn't work from your bed, I know, but certain circumstances permit it, and believe me, after the week that, I and everyone in my life has had, I think I'm allowed to work on my bed. Um, um, it's currently 11, aim is to get it done by five, which I think is doable. And then to rest tonight, because then we've got to get on with other work tomorrow. This is where we're at so far, people. Do not judge the quality because, oh good God, I am struggling. It's been two hours and this is all I've written. I literally went into the kitchen and I went and spoke to the boys and I was like, I need one of you to tell me that you're cooking something nice for dinner tonight because that will be my motivating factor. It's technically due in at 4.30, but just because of everything that's happened today, like I'm just so not with it mentally. I don't think my tutor will mind. I really hope she doesn't. Um, and if she does, then of course, you know, fair play, that's her prerogative, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pick up the pace now. We are gonna pick up the pace. Hello everyone. So, it's been a while and unfortunately, essay has not been finished. Oh my God. So I emailed my tutor and I said, oh hey, like, I hope you don't mind. It's gonna be a couple of hours late because believe it or not, I'm not a perfect human being and this year I want to just be a bit more balanced with everything. Um, and she was like, you can send it tomorrow. So I decided like, it's better to just sort myself out tonight, chill, cause I'm feeling a little bit emotionally fraught um, and I'm gonna write it tomorrow morning I'm such a morning person my thoughts work better in the morning so that is the plan um, and yeah we're gonna go and have dinner and just chill I think and I'm gonna sort of do my all my other admin bits which don't take as much mental capacity and um, yeah Polly's bought a load of cakes it's Polly's birthday yesterday I will show you the cake in the kitchen when I go in there in a second it is ridiculous I've never seen so much cake in my life so yeah feeling very grateful that my tutor is such a lovely human being <laughs> um, and to be honest it just means that the essay is better I'm not normally one to like miss deadlines and stuff but I suppose I wasn't expecting the sort of fountain of stuff that happened this weekend to happen so you can't predict life you know <laughs> you can go in it as well if you want what's the verdict on the cake it's really nice really really good it's just massive Polly yeah, it's, so massive. <laughs> it's so big it's like, it's, it's like... <laughs> It's like eating a cloud. <laughs> Seb's gonna review the cake. Oh. Okay. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Lots going on. All, all of it good. <laughs> what different mm. layers are you liking the most? How much? Um, no. I'll detect no, three, three chocolate layers, two coffee layers, and two marshmallow layers. <laughs> nice. Hello everyone. So, we had a super chilled evening, which I think is what I needed. I re initially thought that I was really just like shattered from the weekend. And it's now occurring to me that I might be getting sick. So, 
let's pray that my immune system does the right thing and knocks this one away. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get a lot of sleep and a lot of water in the hope that that helps. Hello everyone, so unfortunately, as I felt, I could feel it last night, if I'm honest, I could really feel that I was getting sick and I've woken up and it has confirmed my suspicions. I don't think it's like a major, like really bad cold or anything. I think it's just like a bug or something that's been going around because like most of our floor are a little bit not feeling so great. Uh, we've all done lateral flows and stuff and no one's got COVID, but not feeling so great. But I've been drinking lots of water. I've had lots of hot tea, um, I've had some flu tablets trying my best to just keep warm and like look after myself. I do have to finish this essay unfortunately, um, but I am nearly done now. And I'm uh, just gonna take it slow this morning. And yeah, gosh, this has been a crazy vlog. <laughs> but I do think it's important to vlog stuff like this because this is the reality of uni, especially the first few weeks of term. If you manage to make it through that without getting sick, I applaud you, you have the immune system of a god. <laughs> golden things. Hello again, essay is finally done. Um, and I've tidied my room a little bit, but I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna go have a break, I'm gonna go have some food. Um, I was actually alright, I was, I was not like unimpressed with it in the end. Like, it's not revelationary. But it answers the question, or at least I think it does, which is something that I struggle with a lot. So, very happy about that. I've put my funky trousers on because I'm feeling funky fresh. It's a new week, and I have a class at 3.15, I think. So, I'm going to chill for a bit and then get going with the work that I need to do this evening because I have, I think, I want to say four translations and a language essay, but I'm not sure. We're just going to, it's fine. As long as it's all done by tomorrow evening and I can start my essay reading on Wednesday. We are on track for a good week, so staying positive. Hello, everyone. <sighs> oh, things have unfortunately taken a bit. <sighs> Things have taken a bit of a turn. For the, I really do not feel good at all. Like, I feel really, really not great. Um, so I didn't go to my class, obviously. I don't want to pass this on to anyone. Yeah. I have so much work to do as well. I literally have so much work. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, I'm just gonna lie here for a little bit. Hello, good morning. Um, sorry I didn't vlog yesterday, I felt really naff. Like, I had to move my tutorial to today, which I didn't want to do. I just got very upset because I was just like, this is not how I wanted this week to go. But I am feeling a bit better. The nausea has gone, which is great. I managed to stomach some like food last night, thanks to the clever suggestions of people in my flat. I had some chips and gravy. <laughs> I don't know why that was what I could stomach. Um, but I think the nausea's pretty much gone down, which was the bit that I was struggling with the most. Um, my nose is very blocked, as you can probably tell. And I've got a bit of a sore throat, but I don't feel completely horrendous today. I look it, <laughs> but I don't feel it. I'm gonna work from my room all day because A, I don't think it's a good idea to go into town and infect everybody with my germs. And B, I've only got two lectures today. So my friends have very kindly offered to get me the notes for those. Although I feel like I'm just missing so many classes already, but it's better to recover. So again, I'm sorry this vlog has been so boring, but it's also a very realistic vlog. And I think that that is also important to cover on the channel. Um, so, I shall see you later. I've got four translations to do today, but they can be done with a cup of tea in bed. So, that's what's going to be happening. Ooh. We have honey, lemon and ginger tea. We have lots of water. We have strepsils, cold and flu, ibuprofen, gum and mints for the nausea. I am, I'm geared up, people. I'm geared up. <laughs> 
So I've just finished my third and final translation that I needed to do today um, Which is good because it is currently half past four and my tutorial is at six It's on teams because I said to my tutor like I do not want to sit in an office with you If I'm really really poorly, I think I am okay I think it was just a weird bug thing like cold and obviously I can just go around wearing a mask but Yeah, obviously don't want to take any chances especially yesterday because oh not feeling good yesterday. Anyway, um, I've done the translations and I've also been going along noting down any vocab that I need but I think now I'm just gonna like take an hour and a half to like resort my life out. I've planned tomorrow, I've planned the rest of my week um, and I'm now gonna unpack my suitcase from the weekend which I tried to do yesterday and felt too ill to do and then also get sort of dressed-ish, go get my parcels um, and just sort of like recalibrate so yes hopefully the vlog will get more interesting from here hello so my room is now pretty much all clean and tidy and i'll have a tutorial on teams so this is gonna be a fun hour <laughs> um, i obviously won't vlog it because like i think it'd be a bit weird if i just got my camera out and like film my tutor on teams but yeah After our lovely practice of the Ghostbusters dance, we all actually ordered a delivery, we all had different things. I went for a curry, which was okay, not West Midland standard, and then we also made some signs for a spiking protest we were going to go to the next day. Hello and good morning. I am still not feeling 100% today, but I'm feeling better. Like, I feel like the symptoms are kind of just like changing each day. Today, the only symptom I really have is that like, if I swallow it, it feels like I'm literally swallowing nails. But that is easily fixable with ibuprofen and um, Jakeman's throat sweets. So it's not too bad. I was going to go to the library this morning to liven up this vlog for you guys. But I think I kind of just want to work in my room. Um, I think I'm just going to have to accept that this week is not like ideal. I don't really like working in my room. I don't really like doing any of that. But equally, I just want to make sure I feel better for the weekend. Which will be next week's vlog. This weekend is going to be a really fun weekend. And I promise you that it will make up for how boring this week has been. Um... But yeah, I'm going to pick you up later when I actually head into town. I have a class on Teams at 1 o'clock because my tutor's still waiting for her PCR bag because she came into contact with somebody. And then I have two actual in-person classes this afternoon, so I'll see you then. I went and had my cup of tea on the balcony, as you've seen many a time. But how sad that this tree... Well, it's beautiful at the moment, but I'm sad that it's soon going to be bare because the colours are so amazing at the moment. So autumnal. Then I had my teams class, which was super productive. Woo! Uh, and I headed on into town um, to go to my developing writing skills class, which is like a Spanish essay class. Yeah. Uh, we have loads of like random classes for like translation, essay, or like just loads of random ones. Um, and then I was randomly walking down the middle of the road, clearly on my way to Tiger. We were looking for Halloween decorations, but we ended up buying Christmas decorations because they'd already got rid of the Halloween ones. And then I headed up to St. Hugh's with more autumnal colours for my German reading group. Hello everyone, so I just got back. Um, I'm making myself a quick dinner. Harry's staring at me. I feel attacked, right? Sorry. Um, and everyone's cooking like different things. It smells really good in here. But then I need to edit this video that you're watching. So Rob is actually a pro chef. I really enjoy it. Really Look at this. I know. Talk I us through it. it. Talk us through it. Through it. Uh, well, like Gordon Ramsay hasn't cooked in a while. <laughs> after, after tasting it. Oh, you know, Diane sauce, fat steak, mushrooms. And how do you have your steak? Rare. <laughs> we then headed into town to go to the anti-spiking demonstration, which we all thought was incredibly important. It's an issue that hits really close to home and we wanted to go and show our support. Um, it was a really amazing turnout, some really amazing speeches and yeah, don't spike. If you're watching this and you're a spiker, 
A, stop watching my channel, and B, don't spike, man. Like, not good. Anyway, yes. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> And with that guys, I am actually going to end this vlog. It's now Thursday. A new vlog is going to be starting tomorrow and I promise you it will be hopefully a much more exciting one. I have lots of plans this weekend and lots of plans next week and not as much work. So it should hopefully be a really, really fun time. Thank you so much from me and my block nose for watching this video. I hope that your immune systems are all holding up okay, even though they probably won't be because it's the time of year plus obviously other circumstances. But I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye, guys. Mwah.